Hey guys, um, I wanted to share something that was pretty neato about Tristan and Natalie's wedding. But uh, the funny thing is that it's not really about them. It's kind of not. Um, dude, a few months ago, I go to LA with my sister and um, this awesome girl, Tiffany. Guys, dude, she's single. She's awesome. Um, so anyways, we go to LA and we're like, okay, we have to find a dress for Natalie's wedding, right? Because like, this is a big deal. Like, we're so excited. LA people are rough. Like, those people were so mean. Homeboy. Like, excuse me, ma'am, what can I help you with? And I was like, I'm actually looking for a charcoal dress. And he's like, laughing hysterically at me and was like, yeah, not gonna happen. That was so last season. So anyways, we had literally the, I mean, it was really fun. Don't get me wrong. Like I said, Tiffany, awesome. Um, awesome fun, but we got nowhere in the dress search. Maybe, I want to say five or, yeah, five weeks out, um, we found this stellar thing online where it's like, yo, David's bridal dresses, clearance. So last season meant 90% off. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, only problem is that there was very limited sizing, and so I had to end up picking a size four, which I fit typically in a size four, but it kind of just depends on the dress. So we get the dress in, um, and I try it on, and I like coming up out of it, like muffin top status. Mm, not flattering. So um, I was like, all right, gotta do something about this. You know, I gotta change things up, gotta get my workout on, you know, stuff like that. Maybe about four weeks out, tried it on a little bit better, three weeks out, it fit. Cool. The only problem is that the dress has like the zipper and then it has like these three buttons that kind of come like this together in the back and you button them up and they're super cute. And so um, that didn't button so it kind of just wasn't all that cute not buttoned. That, that was not happening. There's like some like, I don't know if you can tell, there's like magnetic buttons and those basically just like popped off the second you put them off. So I was like, all right, whatever, like I'll figure out some other way that it's gonna wrap around and work together and whatever. My best friend, Christina, I thought she's gotta have great advice, right? So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna try it on for her. So two weeks out, I try on this dress for her so she can give me advice on how to bring it all together. And it won't even zip. It literally only comes up like halfway. It was just too overbearing. I was like, okay, God, like, I don't know what to do. Like, you gotta help me out here. Um, about a week out, I was like in Laughlin eating really whatever I wanted. And I was like, well, I'm not helping the situation or the problem. I finally decided I'm just gonna start doing two a days. Like, I'm gonna work out in the morning, I'm gonna work out at night. Well, boy, let me tell you, getting up in the morning and going to the gym, not the easiest for me. I would get there, get to the gym, start working out, and about maybe 20 minutes in even, a lot of times, I would be exhausted. And I was like, okay God, you have to pull me through because I don't know how I'm gonna keep up on the treadmill. I'm about to fly off into these ellipticals behind me and look like an idiot. And so God totally did. Like he pulled through hardcore. When I didn't want to work out, when I was struggling, he would be like, go for it. You got this. And he would encourage me and he would give me that strength that I needed. I would no longer feel queasy. I would no longer feel lightheaded or whatever. It was amazing. He brought everything to the table. I just, I don't know. I, I literally did nothing. He did it all. He gave me the strength. He gave me the energy. He gave me the peace, the the wisdom, the, the, all the things that I needed. So all glory to God, the dress fit. This zipper not only zipped up, but there's more. So excuse me while I just ramble about how awesome Jesus is a smidge bit more. Um, but I'm planning on bragging about him for the rest of my life, so get used to it. Uh, my sister was like, okay, Court, try on the dress, right? Because I have to try on the dress. So I was trying on the dress originally to try to figure out if the one yard of string that I bought was going to be enough because, like I said, that back was not getting any better. Um, and so I was like, all right, cool. Like, I bought a yard of this stuff and I'm pretty sure I needed a yard and a half because it's so bad. 
So I was really planning on trying to figure out how much more fabric stuff that I needed to go buy at Joann's for the wedding. So when she zipped it up, she put the clasps together, it popped off. And um, then she was just kind of, I thought, fooling around. I don't know what she was doing back there. And then all of a sudden she's like, what? No way. I can feel my fabric on my back, but her hands are not there. The stinking dress buttoned. Oh, Jesus, brain freeze. He's so good. This is so good. Oh, as you're working out in the gym or going for a run, you can find your way of connecting with God and just really glorifying Him in everything that you do. Thanks, God, for making me feel like Cinderella. I just want to say thank you to Natalie and Tristan for ch chicken, picking um, charcoal gray because. If it wasn't for you and that choice, I wouldn't be where I'm at with my relationship with the Lord. And so I have you to thank for that. Obviously, God threw you to thank for that. You know that. But um, thanks. You guys are the best. Love you.